The show is called Autofocus. It's about me bringing my two professions maybe together as a photographer and as an artist, or as an artist and a photographer. So I, I did an apprenticeship as a photographer and then I studied art at the art school in Zurich. And then I always kind of excluded the photography out of my practice. And with this show, I somehow thought it could be nice to merge it. And um, the topics of the, of the show is basically being in use because I'm like this kind of du duality between being a, a free artist who can do whatever we want and being um, a professional photographer which is asked for doing commercial jobs. So this kind of duality kind of is, uh, how you say, um, fruity to each other because my works often um, develop when they are, when I'm in a between moments somehow. So, and for this project I photographed um, um, a cooperative from Talville at the Zurich of Lake where I grew up and they're called Quasi Tutto and this is a group of uh, retired people who decided to, to provide any service so you can call them and ask them for trashing your garage or taking care of the house when you're on holiday or bringing kids from the day from kindergarten to the, the daycare or they have a, a little how you say they have a workshop where you can bring broken stuff and my idea was actually that this is kind of the placeholder of like this question of our society that you work all life long towards your career and then you get retired and somehow you are not in use anymore in your original profession and for me somehow I think it's not so necessary to have this strict distinction somehow and uh, also at me as an artist sometimes when you don't have really projects which are coming up I also feel sometimes kind of retired <laughs> so I, I I documented them when they did provide the services, so I, I accompanied them for like trashing garages, feeding cats, cutting trees, um, fixing clothes, fixing a lamp, installing lamps or fixing a bike or whatever. So, and uh, the show is also combined by another series of works which are benches which are um, an imitation of a bench a friend of me photographed in Japan which was written Fuji color and the idea was about because the analog photography somehow got how you say got also a little bit in a retirement position and um, because the digitalization of the photography took over and somehow it's a bit like a similar situation which when you would get retired somehow so that's that's that was the plan and uh, we I imitated six benches with six brands of uh, um, film brands which still produce analog film material so you are very welcome to sit on them and um, watch look at the pictures where these old people work <laughs> and then there is a third work which is a a lamp which has a is which has a little transmitter in between which morse this song from Alpha Will which is called Forever Young as a little comment to the situation. <laughs> I guess my interest in uh, is like more the daily life, maybe the boringness of life, maybe the in-between, maybe things which are not like so visual. 
So I often find situations or moments which I find an object or also a social moment which interests me and then I kind of work on it and my materials which I use are almost always really different so my work never looks the same maybe also to kind of entertain myself and it's more like seeing often it's like so kind of personal situations which are which I'm in and then something happens and somehow it develops an artwork in a kind of more um, conceptual way but it has always like different layers so I'm maybe want to ha have answers to the universal questions of life and uh, maybe two topics I worked a lot the last years was love or emotions and work somehow which is two big topics of our lives anyhow and um, also what interests is my, somehow some circulation some circles which are open or closing again or repeat or yeah just kind of we have, I guess also the human body has these circulations in the body kind of, which always comes back and goes away. So it has a lot, I'm, I'm always working a bit like the inside and the outside has a big, is a big tema in my, in my uh, artworks. Also as a philosophical question maybe. So as well with the title of the show, the outer focus is actually a, a term of like a, a technical term for photography but it also has something to do with out of fiction and it's more also meant for me in this double meaning of this out of fiction or out of portrait or like this kind of you sharp and unsharp all the time so it's like a navigation of moments you always have to kind of adjust in the end or not adjust if you don't want so that's I guess a bit what I'm interested in <laughs>